Hi, uh, and actually, not welcome to uh, to the workbench, but welcome to the lounge. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm really excited today. Uh, I've got my hands on the first printed copies of uh, my new book, the Small Layout Design Handbook. Uh, and I thought uh, a good way to, to show you all would be just to take a flick through and talk about uh, a little bit about what's inside. So uh, here it is. Um, first of all, uh, I'd like to say thank you to, to Simon, uh, my publisher, and also to Chris Mears and uh, Paul Marshall Potter for, for their encouragement in bringing this project to, to fruition, really. Um, yeah, it's been really exciting and, and I'm really pleased now to have it in my hands uh, and even more pleased to be able to share it with you. Um, first of all, uh, you'll notice it's in a landscape format. Um, this was really important because for me, the beauty of this book, or hopefully the beauty for you will be to be able to flick through it. And I think landscape format works better in that way. So it's something I hope once you've read, you want to come back to and you want to um, look at and consider uh, perhaps a particular plan or there's a section I've written about that you want to reread uh, and just the ability to flick through, find that page and feel that inspiration again uh, is something I was really, really, uh, really keen on. Um, but basically I've, I've produced the whole thing. Uh, it's all my own uh, work in terms of uh, the layout photography and illustration. I'm just flicking through quickly here and get a feel for it. Um, so the first sort of third of the book or so is, I suppose, theory, if you like. Uh, and then at the back, there's uh, plans. Uh, and the idea is that these take or discuss a, a prototype and then sort of consider how that's translated into uh, into the, the plan, the micro layout. So they're almost like worked examples, if you will. Um, so having a look at the contents, we've got uh, a forward written by Chris and by Paul and a preface by myself. And then basically four theory chapters, finding your space which talks about uh, space in the modern home and the modern family. Uh, marriage of space and prototype. And once you've worked out where you've got a space in your house, what prototype is going to fit best with that. Some considerations around small layout success. This builds on a set of blogs that uh, Chris Mears and I actually wrote uh, and builds on that when illustrates it with my own photography. Uh, and then talk talks about layout as part of your home. How, how do you then take uh, all of what's above and sort of integrate that into your own space? Um, and it's hopefully easy to read. I've written it very much as a story of my own experience, really, and used my examples and my learning um, or drawn on that to uh, to sort of set out some ideas and theories that hopefully will help you. Um, it's a very personal book. Uh, it's it's come from me. It is of me. Uh, it's a little bit nerve wracking to put it out there and have you all see it. Uh, I do hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope it inspires you to look at your hobby through perhaps a different uh, uh, lens and maybe even build uh, a new small layout um, or at the very least just enjoy a lazy afternoon uh, with uh, with a coffee um, and uh, and a good read. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for, for listening. You can uh, buy it at the, uh, the Titfield Thunderbolt bookshop and uh, from Light Railway stores and I'm sure there will be plenty more stockists uh, in the coming days and weeks. Uh, thanks for watching.